Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and let's talk about Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And the reason why I want to talk about Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is because it's just been announced that a few Middle Eastern countries have banned it. And I'm not surprised, but let's talk about the whole virtue signaling kind of thing. Because Marvel, Disney... You claim that you care about LGBT rights. You set up there and completely had your whole entire company, you know, go against um, DeSantis for the whole um, uh, parental parent control and how you want to be an ally to the LGBT community. But yet you keep I, in certain parts of the country, you either change, change things around to make it palatable for them or you cut characters completely out or the movie's just straight up banned. You need to make a decision. You need to make a decision, Disney, because you already showed your ass with this whole parental control um, bill. You know what I'm saying? The quote-unquote um, dub that the media gave it, the don't say gay bill, which is not even um, it's not even called that. That's the thing. It's not even called the don't say gay bill. It is literally called the parental parents' rights bill. You know, God... God forbid um, parents go to school and then they find out that their their parent um their their children are learning something that isn't you know age appropriate and I I I love how morons are like oh you know it's dangerous that kids aren't allowed to talk no kids shouldn't be talking about that shit regardless it's it's literally pre K to third grade y'all asses act like they said the entire they they y'all act like they said the entire school system. No, but there are certain things you shouldn't talk about with little kids. But what I'm saying is Disney, you set up there and let your entire company, let your entire company to go fund this, um, to stand for this fight against them. And now you're losing, you're losing your special privileges. Um, you might lose your copyright for Mickey Mouse. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's all of this worth virtue signaling at the end of the day. Then you go over to other countries and then you remove all the BS from it. Or change everything around so it's platable for them. So you're preaching to us in, in the United States to try to force us to like this stuff or accommodate to this shit. But then you go to other countries and you remove it or cut it all out altogether or it's di directly banned. You need to make a decision and you need to stand for something. Because if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And that's what you're doing. You can't play both sides. Which side do you want to play? Which means that, I'm sorry to say, say this, that means less of these LGBT characters are going to have to show up. If you want if you want to try to please majority over, uh, over minority, you're going to have to. And another thing is, if you're, if you're so adamant about putting LGBT characters into, into your um, movies, then you need to be like Japan, um, China, um, France, Europe, all of the, all these other countries, South America, whatever, where they release movies for their country. That's another problem with the United States. We always try to release movies for every, everybody else. You can't release shit for everybody else. I'm sorry. That's not how this works. Your first and foremost thing should be to the damn United States. And it's weird. I always said this shit. I never understood this shit before. Is that the fact that um, when you got when you got a damn movie that's coming out, right, for us, why the fuck is it being premiered? in fucking Europe first before it premieres in the United States. Do Europe movies be premiering in the United States first? No. No, it don't. Do Japan's movies be, be here first? No, it don't. Do China's movies be here first? No, it don't. So why the fuck our movies gotta be premiered first in somebody else's damn country instead of the damn place that it's made for? Y'all do dumb shit. Y'all do, y'all do literal dumb shit and then wonder why people ain't, ain't liking these movies as much because you're trying to make the movie for everyone else, but the United States, you, you claim that you're trying to do it for the United States, but then the only thing you're doing is trying to virtue signal to the United States. And then when it comes to other countries, you're, you'll remove and make things cause you don't want to be offensive. And it's always something when it comes to Dr. Strange and, um, what? Wanda, I guess. You know, some people are already a little pissed off about the fact that you didn't let Doctor Strange show up in WandaVision, but you let this bitch show up in um Doctor Strange and be a headliner. 
in the damn movie. You know what I'm saying? Which I find that very weird too. Quite sexist if you ask me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. but we don't want to talk about that, right? Then you did the same thing with the ancient one. Ancient one was an ancient um, Tibetan monk. But no, 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 no. Let's let's make let's make him an English woman, an English woman. Yeah, yeah. Cause that that makes the sense God gave. No, nah, the real reason is because you didn't want to offend China. A lot of these changes that you made for Doctor Strange, the first movie, was because you wanted the movie to be filmed in China. I mean, you wanted the movie to be um, showed in China, and you did everything in your power to make sure that movie was going to be played in China. But how about world premiere movies and, and stuff is premiered here in the United States first? No, not everywhere else. Not everywhere else. Movies, American movies from now on, especially when it comes to Marvel movies, shows, need to be premiered here first and foremost. Other countries can get that shit three weeks after or two weeks after, like our asses do. Be sitting up in a be sitting be, we be sitting up here in the bullshit. We be sitting up here in this bullshit. And our movies, our movies, right? <laughs> the movies that we have, right? The movies that we do have that I've seen, that they'll be premiered in another country a week or two early, right? So everywhere else around the, certain certain parts of the world got the movie first before the damn actual United States audience. Just because they get they can get a domestic, they can get a um a international box office more so than they can get. I mean, a worldwide box office more so than they can get a domestic box office. Which you know, maybe if you make movies that the domestic audience will want. Instead of trying to virtue signal every goddamn day and trying to change everything up. Because again, I, no movie, we're the only damn country that would try to change movies to accommodate. Do you not understand the reason why a lot of movies back in the day are classics and why people prefer old shit than the new shit that comes out? Because that shit wasn't, wasn't made to be like, hmm, we need to make sure that we're accommodating every group of minority people in the world. Or we need to make sure we're representing the LGBT people. No, it's we're making this movie, and if other people like it, that's great. But our first and foremost thing is to make sure people here in America like it. I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened. But y'all asses need to calm down with this bullshit, to be honest. It don't make no sense. Now you got a movie that's supposed to be coming out and some, some countries aren't going to be able to show it. Or if you do show it in other countries, you're going to have to cut things out because it's just too much. It's just too much for other countries. And I kind of find that very high, uh, very hypocritical because then on the one hand, you'll preach to us about how, oh my God, this is amazing. This is the first ever Latino lesbian character or like our favorite new word, Latinx. Latinx that nobody likes. And then be confused why people are like, I wonder why nobody don't want to watch the movie in, our, in these countries. Or I wonder why the movie's banned. It's crazy. Virtual signal to us in the United States, but in other countries. Yes, a master. We'll change the movie for you because we know that you don't like the gays. Or we know you don't like the minorities. You know what I mean? Like, it comes off so fake as hell. And again... No, no other country changes their movies to accommodate us. But yet we got to change our movies and our standards and our sensibilities for everyone else. It doesn't work like that. Make good movies. And if it has LGBT people in there, if it has minorities in there, naturally, 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 hear me what I say, naturally, not race swapped, not forced in a story that don't make no damn sense. But naturally. And if it turns out great, that's good. If not, oh well. Boo hoo, cry late about it. But then you go back and you be like, I wonder why it didn't work. Well, maybe it was the story. Because nine times nine ten is the story. And the good thing is, you know, y'all got Mark, you got the. You got the Marvel studio behind you and Disney studio behind you. Of course, this movie is going to do well. Um, but is it really worth virtue signaling to the point where 
a, a lot of these MCU movies have to edit or make second cuts of themselves just because. And that's not fair that you guys are hounding people in the United States about how they have to like it. And if they don't like it, they're biggest or whatever and stuff like that. But then you go over to other countries, they're either banning, outright banning, or they're over here um, changing everything around to accommodate the countries. That is freaking weird. And then you want to, then your company want to try to sit up here and defend this shit. It doesn't make the damn sense God gave. It really doesn't. Figure something out. Figure something out. Because this is, this right here is your lynching, your lynch test. Because there's only so much that you can got there and hit, um, hide and take out and edit out before it comes off being disingenuous. I mean, it's already disingenuous for a lot of people anyway. That's why phase four really ain't been all that great. Literally the saving grace of phase four was literally Spider-Man and the early stages of Wonder Vision. But because you didn't want to put Dr. Strange in there, you fucked up, you fucked yourselves up. How the hell you didn't want to put Dr. Strange in there? Come on now. We didn't want a man to, to, to tell a woman what to do. You mean a man who is an expert at the source, the sorcerer supreme, and Wanda doesn't have any idea how to do magic? You make it make sense. So that I mean that was already strike one against Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Anyway, oh, um, one division is supposed to be a directly tie in to um. Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness, except for, oh, well, well, we wanted to put Steve Strange in there, but then that we thought about it, we didn't want a man coming in there to tell tell a woman what to do or whatever and stuff like that. You mean something that he's actually an expert at? AKA the Sorcerer Supreme? Morons? But you know, hey, go ahead. Go ahead and virtue signal and be stupid like you normally are. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.